buongiorno a tutti, bentrovati dal quartier generale del Faris Film Festival numero 23, quello che vedete alle nostre spalle il visionario. Oggi parliamo di cultura pop giapponese e lo facciamo con delle persone davvero speciali, a cominciare da Vincenzo Filosa, Ciao che è un nostro caro amico, a lui nel 2015 abbiamo dedicato una mostra monografica dedicata appunto alla sua graphic novel Viaggio a Tokyo e da allora siamo rimasti molto molto in contatto, quindi lui è un fumettista, curatore di mostre, traduttore dal giapponese e soprattutto un mangaka, <ride> quindi perfettamente in tema perché oggi è la giornata di un film importantissimo all'interno della nostra line-up, si chiama Jigoku no Hanazono Office Royal, lo vedremo questa sera nell'arena all'aperto del visionario. È importante perché, oltre che essere un film davvero entusiasmante da tutti i punti di vista, è un film che nasce da un manga che si chiamava Sweet Spot. Vero Vincenzo? Sì, eh, un stupendo, ah, uno stupendo manga eh, dal titolo Sweet Spot, la sua autrice è Chusonji Yutsuko, eh, è un nome d'arte perché il suo vero nome era Kobayashi Yukiko. E, il, il manga è stato pubblicato in forma seriale a partire dal 1800, 1989 fino al 1992 su una rivista molto particolare, eh, si chiamava Spa ed era una rivista, come le tante riviste tematiche che popolano combini, librerie giapponesi, eh, dedicata a moda, gossip e trend vari. Ecco. Stiamo parlando del 1989, quindi siamo nel, nel piena bolla economica, ecco, un periodo molto, molto felice per la società giapponese. Ecco. E, è una rivista particolarissima perché è dedicata fondamentalmente a giovani businessmen. Addirittura avevo una rubrica eh, che un, eh, ogni settimana proponeva il profilo di una ricca ereditiera eh, non ancora sposata. Ecco, una possibile proposta di matrimonio per i giovani <ride> businessmen. E veniva per il 70% letto da quindi, giovani businessmen e per il 30%, tra l'89 e il 92 soprattutto, da ragazze. Accorse a comprare la rivista per questa serie molto particolare che si chiamava appunto Sweet Spot. È una, è una raccolta di racconti molto brevi, diciamo che rappresenta un'evoluzione... Un un'evoluzione stilistica di quelle che sono le vecchie Yon Coma, no? le strisce a quattro vignette che raccontavano la vita di tutti i giorni in Giappone. Ed è, boh, se vogliamo fare anche un, par un paragone televisivo, era una, una specie di uh, The Office, hmm. uh, però ambientato appunto nel mondo dei salari in giapponesi e declinato al femminile ed è importantissima perché introduce una nuova categoria di lavoratrice eh, giapponese che appunto è questa Oyaji Girl, eh, il termine coniato dalla stessa Chusonji, eh, che definisce e indica una lavoratrice eh, semidedicata, cioè che vuol dire? Vuol dire che tra le 9 e le 5 si lavora e poi c'è la, la, la vita vera, ecco. Uh, in una delle strisce, ad esempio, uh, le ragazze dipendenti di questo ufficio si appassionano al golf, una passione tipicamente maschile, soprattutto all'epoca, e quando tornati dal campo di golf il loro capo ufficio gli chiede di togliergli le scarpe, uh, la ragazza risponde, non lo farò, perché uh, oltre a servire il tè, io devo anche percorrere il fairway della mia vita. Una, una battuta che mi ha particolarmente colpito, ecco, perché molto leggera, infatti... però molto puntuale. Ecco. Um, non ho detto, sì, sì. Non ho detto cosa, cosa significa Oyaji Girl, è una specie di ossimoro, no? E Oyaji è il vecchio, l'anziano, diciamo l'uomo maturo, tra i 40 e i 50. Lo zietto viene spesso tradotto nei manga... Uh, negli, negli adattamenti italiani dei manga giapponesi e girl naturalmente deriva da girl quindi sono ragazze uh, che lavorano in azienda 
ma che hanno, una forte, che, che hanno, che hanno abbracciato le passioni dei, degli zietti giapponesi. Quindi parliamo di golf, parliamo di bar locali, alcol e karaoke, parliamo di, di viaggi. Eh, viaggi in Svezia, viaggi a New York. Ehm, la Yutsuko Chusonji dice che la serie non racconta tanto la vera vita di queste ragazze quanto quelle, quello che è il sogno. Mm? C'è inoltre il filtro della propria esperienza, perché lei è un'autrice, eh, era un'autrice molto eclettica, laureata in legge, musicista, eh, mecenate per la divulgazione dell'hip hop giapponese, insomma ne ha fatte di tutte e di più. E e ha vissuto tante esperienze, appassionata anche lei di golf e quindi ha, ha, ha infuso la sua serie di tutte queste sue esperienze cercando di raccontare quelli che erano i sogni di quella particolare classi, classe lavoratrice giapponese ecco. e, diciamo, ispirando così tantissime ragazze no? eh, a inseguire una, una via di mezzo tra quelle che erano le due opzioni possibili all'epoca in Giappone cioè donna sposata o donna in carriera, pochissime donne in carriera all'epoca, adesso un po' di più fortunatamente, però ecco, una, una fe, a mio parere felice via di mezzo, ecco. E credo che questa situazione sia abbastanza attuale tutt'oggi, oh. ma ci colleghiamo subito con Tokyo, perché oggi abbiamo questo ponte tra Udine e Giappone, appunto per parlare della cultura pop attraverso questo film, Office Royale, che vediamo stasera. Vediamo collegati... Prima di tutto Mark Schilling, il nostro consulente Hello. per Hi. Hi Mark. Hi. Il nostro consulente per la selezione giapponese, non solo uno dei massimi esperti al mondo di cinema giapponese, non solo di cinema giapponese, vive a Tokyo da ormai 40 anni e assieme a lui c'è, sempre da Tokyo, Shinji Sakoda che ha più di 30 anni nell'industria cinematografica più di 30 hello, anni di nell'industria cinematografica allora Shinji ha venduto più di 300 film a livello internazionale con uno dei più grandi sellers che abbia mai conosciuto nella mia vita oggi è Deputy General Manager per Pony Canyon naturalmente una compagnia che fa parte del gruppo del, della Fuji che è il più importante conglomerato di media in Giappone oggi ed è il venditore internazionale del film Office Royale. We can start with Mark. Mark, would you like to say something more about uh, the movie we are going to see tonight, which is uh, uh, Office Royale by Seki Kazuaki? Yes, of course. Um, I was listening to uh, Vincenzo's explanation and it reminded me of my own book <laughs> of course let me see i wrote about the uh Pop oh, yeah, you, you know the uh the comic hmm. so uh i'm sorry this is the chapter this <laughs> amazing so it was very familiar to me and uh When I wrote about the uh, movie, uh, of course, I thought about the uh, comic. So uh, that, uh, you know, there's a link there. In other words, you're not taking the uh, figure of the office girl so seriously. <laughs> you know, although some uh, movies do, of course, you know. Um, the one uh, you're going to see, I hope you're going to see, Uh, the Office Royale, uh, not not based on a comic so much as the uh, original script by a um, very famous uh, comic in Japan, Baka Rhythm. Um, I'm not sure, again, like if Chu Sanji had any influence on his thinking about the uh, the gags in the movie, but um, I thought it was, uh, of course, a very funny comedy. You know about a seemingly ordinary office lady who is really not so ordinary and uh how she reveals that in the course of the movie you know that's kind of the narrative arc right whereas in the background you know you have these warring factions 
of what what they call Yankee. You know, they're like delinquent <laughs> office ladies who are fighting like, you know, fifth, you know, mar martial arts, full blow, four blown martial arts battles <laughs> while normal office life is going on, right? So that contrast is the source of comedy. Oh, yes, it's really true. And uh, we can see some of the, um, of the clip. We can see the trailer of the movie. The movie is still in the cinemas uh, in Japan right now. So I would like to say, to ask uh, Cindy Sakoda, how was uh, the reaction, or how was uh, uh, received the movie in Japan? And how would you like uh, to, do you plan to sell this movie internationally? Thank you. Uh, we have very good reaction of audience in Japan uh, watching this film. So uh, this kind of film never been uh, uh, exist uh, before. Uh, the office lady actual uh, fist action, street action. So uh, generally, uh, uh, we expect office ladies like uh, supportive, administrative uh, work. Uh, in office, hmm. uh, keep calm on the surface, but Bakarism, uh, the, the writer of uh, this film, he thought about uh, what if office lady uh, actually fight physically each other to organize the uh, one of the big company organization to well organize every day. So. Uh, uh, in the film, uh, many times, uh, there's a line, line of the, uh, uh, the protagonist say, this is typical manga-like uh, story. This is typical yeah. manga-like movement. So uh, it is like, uh, even this is not based on manga, but uh, of uh, writer, Bakarism, uh, really uh, think about manga-like storytelling. And then uh, but manga like a visual, the director Kazaki Seki. So uh, his the uh, uh, good eyes of uh, directing films. He's a famous of uh, music video uh, director. Uh, he made many many big hit of uh, music video. Uh, so like uh, of Nigeru uh, wa Hajida ga yakuni tatsu, based on TV drama. Also perfume is the uh, international uh, performance, uh, famous group. So uh, he's got some visual of uh, telling you what if more like uh, even without dialogue, you can understand right. what is happening. And then who is the uh, key cast, key character? Who is the uh, sub side characters like that? Even fighting sequence, you can see obvious without dialogue. If you understand, mm. film mm -hmm. must be good for you. Uh, you know, at least at least you can understand. <laughs> so, uh, my approach for this film for international market, of uh, because you haven't seen this kind of film. Of course, you've seen many street fight action like uh, Kung Fu action, Jackie Chan of uh, Bruce Lee, or even West Side Story, more fighting uh, action film. But this one's Office Lady. Pure <laughs> female versus female face action. That's why I wanted to start this film from Udine. Uh, thank you very much, Sabrina, selecting this film, uh, Udine, for international premiere. It is important timing for this film to introduce international audience uh, because it is right before can market even this year. So uh, right. it is very important showcase for this new film and then must be funny uh, action film from Udine. Thanks. Yes. Thank you so much, Sinji. I think that, you know, I'm actually an office lady today and tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the movie the movie will be really, really appreciated by, by our audience. And uh, they, they really look forward to watch the movie on the big screen and um, enjoy it. 
uh, what do you think, Mark? Uh, can, can you say something uh, more about uh, Nagano May, for example, the wonderful actress in yes, the movie? Yes, yes, she is. And I, um, I interviewed her. Uh, you know, Sakura-san <laughs> helped me set that up. Yeah, thankfully. in the wonderful location of um, uh, Hanazono Shrine. So. It was at a, a shrine in yeah. Tokyo. And the, uh, the Japanese title of the film is uh, Jigoku no Hanazono, you know, the hell of Hanazono. And the name of the shrine is the Hanazono Shrine. <laughs> <laughs> so it worked out perfectly, right? Yeah. And, um, you know, she's not, she's 21 years old, right? Not, not that you, you would think, not that experienced, but she's been in this business for a long time. And um, it's gonna uh, very. It really impressed me how she carried the film, you know, as the lead actress, and uh, also the action scenes. You know, she told me she had no experience whatsoever in action, but the uh, action director, uh, you know, taught her from zero. You know how to do the uh, how to do the moves. You know all the cast pretty much the same you know not martial artist at all but the uh the fighting scenes really come across i mean it's of course it's a comedy right but she she was saying and i agreed you know they're doing it seriously or they're taking it seriously um and some of the things they're doing are pretty impressive <laughs> you know i'm not using a lot of CG or, you know, wires, that kind of thing, but, um, you know, really executing the moves with sincerity. <laughs> and I think that adds to the, uh, the impact of the movie and, of course, the comedy. You know, it makes uh, the contrasting scenes of, you know, the per perfectly normal, oh, well, life all the more funny. So um, that balance is really uh, the key to the film for me. Definitely. And uh, yeah. from, from what I heard, uh, Nagano May told you that they are speaking about uh, Office Royale number two. Is it true that they are, they are planning to make a, a kind of sequel of this movie? I hope so. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you know, so too. And she then, expressed that desire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She it's, wants uh, to see the, the press yeah. meeting. Uh, but she, uh, you know, what uh, she's expecting that question from uh, press, and then hmm. uh, uh, what she's expecting. He yes. wrote yes. the sequel. That uh, she said, right? And I was That's talking to her about this. I said, "Yeah, I really hope you can do it." And she uh, misunderstood me saying, uh, All right, I hope you can bring it to Udine. And she said, oh, yes, I'd love to shoot a movie in a foreign country. <laughs> sure. So, uh, I imagine her, you know, like, wonderful, right? fight fighting, you know, in sure. the Piazza San Marco. <laughs> yeah, so uh, in front of a visionary. That would be great. <laughs> Why not? Uh, yeah. We will, uh, wait, so she's if really, it, you know, if it's happening, it's going to be she a She really wants yeah. to come to Udine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next I hope we year. can do it. Uh, to see it, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we, we were talking about uh, a great actress, but a great actress we can find also in another Japanese movie that we are going to screen today. Yes. The title is uh, Itto by Yokohama Satoko. And uh, we really would love to ask Marshall to make a small introduction about uh, Itto which is a completely different kind of movie, but very uh, in some way, very different. yeah, very different from Office Royale, but it's a feel-good movie, right? It's a, it, it's a much quieter film until the end. You know, you think it might be a musical, but it's not in the beginning. It's more of a drama about this, you know, young woman's struggle to realize herself, to find herself uh, with a family, that's pressuring her you know, to follow in her dead mother's footsteps and become a player of, of shamisen, mm -hmm. which is um, 
you understand what a shamisen is, right? It's a yeah, but we can we can watch together the trailer of the movie, so we we will for sure understand more about the shamisen. Let's see the yeah, trailer. So there's, there's a style they play in a tsugaru, which is northern Japan. You know, very dramatic. Um, like they're shredding a rock guitar. <laughs> But it's with this traditional <laughs> instrument, you know, and a solo player. You know, no no drums, no bass, no nothing, right? Just, you know, this one person performing, yeah, perfect, right? Mark. So the, the question we, in the movie is, you know, is she going to um, follow in those footsteps, you know, embrace her destiny? Uh, so she's resisting that, you know. And while she's thinking, you know, she, she gets a job at a, a maid cafe where she's serving customers in a maid out, outfit, you know, treating them as her masters, <laughs> which is, you know, maybe from the Western perspective, a little problematic, right? But in, in the context of the film, it makes perfect sense because in that cafe, she can get out of her shell and start to interact with people, you know, find a new identity, you know, apart from her family. So that's dramatic core of the movie. Yes. Let's see the trailer of Ito, and then we can talk more a little more, a little more after the trailer. Okay. okay. Thanks. あ、褒めてんだっけ。何したいの女性像だ。差別すぎの言い付き教授。Okay, we are we are back after the trailer of Ito. The Japanese movie we are going to screen today in uh, Udine Forest Film Festival. So, Shinji san, would you say, would you like to say something about the Ito, which is a movie sure. that uh, we loved? Uh, mm. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the Ito screened at the Udine Visionario, 11 o'clock, right? This morning. Yes. And then today, uh, 4, 4 30, 5 o'clock online is going to be. And then uh, Ito uh, is a protagonist of the film. It is the uh, from Aomori prefectures, uh, far north from Tokyo, like uh, uh, 400 uh, kilometers away from Tokyo, uh, which is the heavy dialect uh, accent uh, they have, uh, which made her quite shy personality. She's tall and shy. Uh, because of the uh, heavy dialect. I believe uh, Italy, uh, uh, you have some uh, regional dialect as well, uh, but uh, we have. in the same time, uh, uh, she's trying to do something out of his shell, uh, her shell. So uh, that's Tsugaru Jamisen, uh, uh, local, local traditional strings with the uh, drum, with the uh, uh, bachi, the picks. So uh, it is very hard to uh, play. And then there's no uh, score uh, you can read because uh, Tsugaru Jamisen traditionally uh, uh, taught by a master to the, uh, uh, the junior, uh, only oral conversation, oral instruction, because mainly this uh, instrument is for the living of blind people. So that's why we have no uh, score uh, to uh, 
imprint to next generation. But mm -hmm. she start study about this uh, Tsugaru Jamsen in young age, yeah. and then he became once in champion. But uh, that uh, photos is she's not like very much because that's uh, quite wide open legs and then quite wide of uh, the, the pictures uh, the talk. So uh, uh, she became can you play, more shy. Can, can you play Shamisan, Shinji san? Uh, I don't, but uh, my daughter does. And then she <laughs> practices every day. And then uh, more you uh, play good, your finger uh -huh. got a mark uh, like this, like a, uh -huh. a string mark. It's quite pain uh, practicing every day, the mark getting hard. And then you play, get better. And that, okay. that's... Uh, Perfect. Itomichi, original title is Itomichi is string mark on your finger. And then in the Itomichi. same time, protagonist name, Ito. Mm. So it is the story about uh, growing up through Sugaru Jamisen, practicing hard instead of talking on the oral conversation. She play the Shamisen more talk with the music. That is the uh, the film of growing up. A perfect introduction. It's really a, a feel good film. Sure, and, uh, sure. You enjoy. I'm happy. I'm happy to tell you that uh, the the screening is already sold out here. Thank so you we very much. Talk more. Wonderful, yes. wonderful job you've done. <laughs> Arigato, ne, arigato ne. <laughs> so the time the time is uh, finished uh, for today uh -huh. so i would love um, i would love i like to thank you mark Schilling from tokyo and Cindy sakoda from tokyo and vincenzo filosa from udine we are look forward to see office royale tonight on the big screen mm -hmm. so today is a very important day for japanese movies and uh, we are very happy and we are all office ladies here. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.